Hey cat lovers, welcome back to another video. Last week we shared 10 dog breeds that typically get along with cats. We knew that video would be helpful because many people love both cats and dogs. Now it's time to look at the other side of things. While there's no guarantee that a specific breed of dog won't like cats, some are less likely to tolerate cats than others. With that said, we are simply speaking in generalities. That's why you should always talk to an animal professional before making any adoption decisions. Shelter employees especially know each adoptee's personality and behavior, including if they get along with cats. But in the meantime, this list can help you jumpstart your research. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel for more cat videos. Now here are the top 10 worst dog breeds for cats in no particular order. Number 1. American Pit Bull Terrier the American Pit Bull Terrier has a muscular body, square-shaped head, and short fur. They also come in a variety of colors. Although they may look intimidating to some, Pit Bulls tend to be very loving and affectionate. Pit Bulls love spending quality time with their families, so the ideal owner should not be away from home for long periods of time because this breed loves affection and activity. Sadly, the Pit Bull has a tragic history that has led to an undeserving bad reputation. In the 1800s, pit bulls were trained as fighting dogs to bait bears, bulls, and other large animals. Eventually, they were used to fight other dogs. Today, dog fighting is illegal in most of the world's developed countries. Like with any other breed, as long as they are properly socialized and trained, pit bulls are wonderful dogs. However, because this breed was historically bred to hunt, they are more likely to be aggressive with cats. Number 2. Staffordshire Bull Terrier the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, also called the Staffy or Stafford, is a medium-sized dog with a short coat, broad head, and muscular body. You may have noticed that Staffies look similar to American Pit Bulls. Sadly, like their Pit Bull relatives, this is another breed that was originally created for dog fighting during the 19th century. However, as mentioned earlier, this cruel practice is now illegal in most developed countries. Don't let their dark history or tough looks fool you. In reality, Staffies are known to be lovers, not fighters. They love spending time with their humans, whether that's on the couch for a movie or in the park for a play session. This breed needs plenty of attention and activity to be happy. Although friendly, Staffies still have a strong prey drive, which means they are more likely to chase cats and other small animals. Number 3. Greyhound The Greyhound has a slender body, deep chest, and long legs. Despite the name, Greyhounds can come in almost any coat color. These dogs are also described as intelligent, graceful, quiet, and athletic. Thanks to their willowy traits, it's no surprise that greyhounds are excellent runners. In fact, they can run as fast as 45 miles per hour, which is why they were commonly used for racing. Today, commercial greyhound racing is illegal in most countries, and in the United States, it's illegal in over 40 states. Despite being built for speed, greyhounds also have a lazy side to them because they love to relax and snooze. This means they can do perfectly well in apartments. While you may be tempted to think this means they also do well with cats, usually the opposite is true. Greyhounds have a natural instinct to chase prey, including cats. When you pair that with their high speed, the odds aren't in Fluffy's favor. Number 4. Schnauzer The Schnauzer comes in three types, miniature, standard, and giant. All three are very similar and look alike minus the different sizes. This breed can have a black or salt and pepper colored coat. Interestingly, the Schnauzer was named for its distinctive mustache and beard. The word Schnauzer comes from the German word for snout or small beard. This breed is noted as being intelligent, energetic, curious, and fearless. They are also rather stubborn, so house training might take more effort than other breeds. The Schnauzer also makes a great watchdog. Since this breed is territorial and protective, they are quick to bark at anything suspicious. Due to their watchdog instinct, Schnauzers are known to chase small yard animals, including cats. Between the chasing and barking, cats are likely to feel stressed out around schnauzers. Number 5. Jack Russell Terrier The Jack Russell Terrier is a small dog and commonly has short fur, although a long-haired variation also exists. The coat of this breed is mainly white with colored patches. The patches can be several color variations such as brown, black, tan, lemon, or red. Jack Russell Terriers are described as happy-go-lucky, friendly, energetic, and alert. This breed is also known to be very active and loves to work. Jack Russell Terriers were originally bred to hunt foxes. As a result, they are excellent hunters, which is great for anyone looking for an athletic dog. 
On the flip side, this is bad news for our feline friends. Since Jack Russell Terriers have such a strong desire to hunt small animals, cats will likely be chased instead of befriended. In fact, Terriers in general aren't known to do well with cats. Number 6. Weimar Otter The Weimar Otter is a large dog with a short blue or silver gray coat and blue eyes. This breed's graceful body and stunning coloring makes them a breathtaking sight. Weimar Otters are said to be excellent with kids and love their family members. They are also described as friendly, active, intelligent, and easy to train. Aside from beauty, brains, and friendliness, Weimar Otters are also great hunting dogs. They were originally bred to hunt large games such as deer, bears, and boars. Due to their high prey drive, Weimar Otters are usually not good with cats. Since these dogs have high energy, Weimar Otters need a lot of physical activity to keep them happy. In fact, most Weimar Otters need 1-2 to two hours of high energy activity per day, making them ideal for an active owner. Number 7. Australian Cattle Dog the Australian Cattle Dog, also known as the Blue Heeler, is a medium-sized breed with a sturdy build. Like the name sounds, Australian Cattle Dogs were developed by Australian settlers to herd on huge ranches, and are still used to herd today. With this in mind, it's no surprise this dog has a huge work drive and lots of energy, so the ideal owner should be able to provide a lot of physical activity to keep this dog happy. Australian Cattle Dogs are also known to be loyal, smart, and alert. Due to their strong herding instincts, they have a high prey drive. This means that an Australian cattle dog is likely to chase and herd a cat. Needless to say, having this breed around would be incredibly stressful for a cat. Like any dog breed, it's possible for Australian cattle dogs to coexist just fine with cats, but usually this is only when they are raised together. Number 8. Siberian Husky the Siberian Husky is another medium-sized dog with a strong work ethic. Their beautiful thick coat is a giveaway that this breed is capable of tolerating cold temperatures. In fact, Siberian Huskies were bred to work in packs and serve as sled dogs. As a result, they are able to pull light loads over frozen areas with ease and grace. This breed is also known to be energetic, intelligent, and friendly. Interestingly, Siberian Huskies are so friendly that they generally don't make the best watchdogs. However, on the flip side, their friendliness usually makes them get along with other dogs. Unfortunately, this friendliness doesn't always extend to cats. Likely due to this breed's hardwired need to find food in the snow, the Siberian Husky has a strong prey drive. So it's no surprise that they have a tendency to chase yard animals, including cats. Number 9. Samoyed The Samoyed is another breed with an ultra-thick coat that does very well against cold weather. These medium-sized white beauties were bred to hunt, herd, and sled, so it should be no surprise that while Samoyeds are a working breed, they are also known to be devoted family dogs. Friendly, gentle, and happy are just a few of the many words often used to describe this breed. Speaking of happy, the Samoyed's mouth has upturned corners, making it look like they are always smiling. This is famously known as the Sammy Smile. However, their happy face won't stop them from trying to chase lunch. Since the Samoyed was bred to sled and hunt, they likely had to hunt small animals for food in the wild. This means that a Samoyed is more likely to see a cat as a snack rather than a friend. Number 10. Beagle The Beagle is a medium-sized hound dog with floppy ears, short hair, and adorable patches. Beagles are known to be excellent family dogs because they tend to be gentle and good-tempered. If you saw our last video about the top 10 dog breeds that get along with cats, you're probably confused because the Beagle was on that list too. Although there are several accounts of Beagles doing well with cats, the opposite is also true. Since the Beagle is usually friendly with other animals, they might see a cat as a buddy. On the other hand, since the Beagle is a hunting dog, they could see a cat as prey that needs to be caught. This variation of outcomes just goes to show that how well a dog gets along with cats depends on much more than the breed. Like with any other breed, in order to increase chances of a positive beagle-cat relationship, the best bet is to introduce them at an early age. We want to stress again that this list is simply based on generalizations. At the end of the day, breed alone does not determine whether or not a certain dog will get along with cats. That's why we strongly encourage you to consider adopting from a shelter first. Shelter employees will know if a particular dog gets along with cats or other pets. This means they can help you find the perfect match for you and your cat. As always, we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. 
Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.